Hi, I'm Peter Jones, Chartered Surveyor, Author and Property Investor. The question I'm sometimes asked is, what is gross yield and when would I use it? And in its simplest form, gross yield is the return on the property. Now, oftentimes that's the return ignoring costs. And the most simple way of calculating gross yield is to take the annual rent and to divide the annual rent either by the purchase price or the value, depending upon what's relevant for you in your circumstances. If you already own the property, you might want to use value. If you're about to buy the property, you might want to use the purchase price. Hopefully the two are gonna be similar-ish unless you're buying at below market value, in which case obviously you want the purchase price to be below the value. So you can already see that we're getting into some complications here. And the reality is that there's not really a standard way that investors talk about gross yield. Even if there were a standard definition, at different points and different times, investors are going to be talking about a slightly different thing. But for our purposes, it is essentially the return of the property ignoring costs. So rent divided by the purchase price or the value times 100 will give you the gross yield. When do you use gross yield? Well, for comparison purposes. One of the times when I use gross yield particularly is when I'm looking for properties and I might be going through Rightmove or Zoopla looking for a property which is going to be right for my portfolio and I might have a certain level, a certain minimum level of gross yield or gross return which I need before I'm interested in buying a property. Now I would not base my buying on that alone. There's a number of things which I'd be taking into account but the starting point might be looking for a particular gross yield. And in my world, a gross yield of around about 8% works well, but if there's other factors involved, then I, I might make it seven, or I might be sticking out for more. It's not as simple as, if you find a property at the right yield, then you should buy it, because there's other things which I'm looking for. But in its essence, that's gross yield. Now, as I say, you may have particular things that you want to take into account. Some investors, when they're working out gross yield, may take into account, for example, the fees, in which case it's not just purchase price, but it's purchase price plus fees. It might make sense for uh, an investor to work out the gross yield, taking into account the costs of a refurb. So it'd be purchase price plus costs, which could be legal costs, stamp duty, plus the cost of any refurb. It all depends on what you're going to be using the figure for and what you're going to be comparing it with. But if you're just skimming through right move, probably a very basic gross yield of rent divided by purchase price times 100 will suffice in order to help you to hone in on the type of property which is likely to be right for your buying criteria. But it's going to depend on your buying criteria. Well, I hope you found that informative and inspirational. Until next time, here's to successful property investing.